Hello guys and welcome! I am reporting to you live from Sims Camp 2019 where I have gotten a chance to play the Sims or Discovery University expansion pack and let me tell you, it's one of the best packs out there. But here to tell you more about it is Sim Guru Steph. Hi Steph! Hi! How are you enjoying Sims Camp so far? It's great. Um, it's always a great experience for us to have um, you guys come here and play our game early and talk to you guys in person. Uh, kind of just get general feedback and as well as talk to you guys about like what you guys like and what you guys don't like. Yeah, so personally, I love the whole concept of exploring the features of new expansion packs together with you developers because there's always there's always a question or two that I have like on a regular basis where I don't know where to find certain things. And like I'm going to touch upon that in this scenario, especially when we get to the secret societies. So, but to begin with this interview, I bet it was really hard to keep Discovery University a secret, especially because of the fact that University has been not the university the community has been wanting this pack for such a long period of time so the decision behind this expansion pack was it because of the community like how did they influence the general development of this expansion pack yep. I would say it's a, a combination of stuff the way we go about um, kind of kicking off a pack it's a little bit of um, kind of seeing what community wants as well as kind of doing our research um, on on what players overall generally like so there's a lot of weighing in terms of what we end up doing as expansion pack we definitely want to put our best foot forward in terms of what pack people want as well as also yeah. like kind of make sure our designers have a chance to kind of think about what we can give as experience as players that maybe they don't know that they want um, yeah so that's definitely always the challenge for a pack but this one uh, which was interesting we try to make the experience a little bit more global and less about how um, American universities are so what we did at the beginning of this pack was do a lot of interviews with different people on our team that have kind of experienced universities in different parts of the world as well as kind of get more information from our external our, our partners in different areas to just kind of make sure we shore up the experience and make it feel a little bit more global yeah. experience. Yeah definitely to me the Sims for Discovery University seems like a mixture mixture of American culture but also like European culture as well more specifically I'm referring to the world of course so where does the inspiration for the world of Brightchester come from? I would say the inspiration of Brightchester is um, European obviously um, kind of I think what they're referencing was like the Bath area and some other parts yeah. um, of Europe just to kind of get that feel yeah, definitely the architecture style of uh, some of the buildings definitely give it a bit of an European feel. And like, if I can say so myself, it reminds me a bit of Windenburg, but in a good way. So what are the three distinct features that make Discovery University stand out? Uh, I would say uh, one of the big things we tried to deliver to players was obviously the two university experience. Yeah. Um, trying to give a little bit of options and uh, we also wanted to do like the two different architecture styles because yeah. uh, Foxbury is like very modern, very in science and techy, and Foxbury is like more traditional like um, European style school so I would say that's kind of a big plus that we wanted we wanted to make sure there's choice there um, in terms of um, on campus we really wanted to focus on experience and not all about school so uh, kind of joining organizations while you're in school is really important it's like a nice social aspect that we want to make sure like school is important but also like kind of the overall experience of like meeting your friends like meeting your best friends and your roommates um because like i've met like my long-term like like great friends through college so we wanted to make sure we kind of have that experience as well i love the fact that there is a mixture between socializing with your friends but also you have to grind your way to have a top-notch career in the future so there's definitely I feel that what you're doing uh, in the university, in this pack, definitely it will have an impact with your future. Just to recap, you know, the top three things is obviously the world and having the dynamic of two schools, um, the degree system, uh, making sure that like, people have the uh, college experience that they have yeah. at school. Um, as well as the organization, which is, I think, the social aspect of the game that is also very important. 
Yeah, so it seems that the whole aspect of organizations, some of the things remind me a bit of the Sims 4 Get Together, but there's definitely the student type of twist to it. So what are some of the organizations like and uh, what are some of the activities that you're going to be able to perform in, I don't know, one of those organizations? Um, so... I think both schools have a spirit one, and the idea is like you're excited to be there, you want to represent your school, so um, I think it's called Spirit Day, so sometimes when there's a game or event going on in the arena, you'll see your sims come down and like um, play juice pong, and I think there's juice cake there, and kind of socialize and kind of get really excited about, yeah. um, about the game or about their school. Um, the kind of other events that happen is if you're at Foxbury, there's a um, robot contest that you can go to. Yeah, that so, one's really cool. So if you're in science and you're building your own robot, you could totally bring in and enter them into a contest there. Yeah, I've seen that the robot contest, it's full of so many cool gadgets and it's definitely bustling with modern technology. So one of the things that people really wanted to know more about after the Sims 4 Discovery University was announced is like, can Sims get student loans? So how does that function in the Sims 4 Discovery University and what are the consequences if you don't pay off your student loan? Definitely to kind of balance like uh, being able to pay. Um, there are scholarships you can apply for and that's like in the computer. You can figure out what is available there, what you can do to skill gain. But if that's not an option for you, you don't have skills and you want a little bit more help, we do have the option to take a loan when you're rolling into university. Um, the payments for those don't really happen until after you finish. Um, so you'll start kind of seeing payment options once you finish your school. Um, and then if you don't pay, you may get a little bit surprised and somebody coming to kind of make sure there's payment made there. Um, oh, so is there maybe a new NPC coming to our home to pay off the debts? Yes, um, so there will be a repo man that comes to take uh, some things if you're not able to pay. <laughs> okay, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, that's life. So, next up, obviously, university is not all about studying and doing coursework. So, I'm wondering, can you tell us a little bit about the new social aspects that are included with the Sims 4 Discovery University? Um, I would say one of the biggest social aspects, which we already mentioned, is organizations. Um, the other thing is if you decide to move into university housing on campus, um, you'll have roommates. Um, that kind of is a force function, so you kind of have dyma dynamic living uh, with sims that uh, you're unaware of what their quirks are, so kind of discovering those things yeah. and kind of balancing. Like, do you build relationship there? Do you find somebody that you hate? Uh, which I think is a uh, interesting social aspect that we've put into um, university housing, which I don't think is uncommon. It's definitely a big change when you move in with somebody new. Yeah. Um, we also offer um, uh, housing off campus too. So if you don't want to live in university housing, you can uh, live outside as well. Yeah, I'm so glad that you guys have given us the options to basically expand university outside of Brightchester as well. So if we want to make Newcrest a university world, we can definitely do so by just populating it with uh, the new uh, three new venue types. So that's really cool. I can already say that this really does feel like a strong expansion pack. This definitely feels like an expansion pack and that's one of the reasons why, because it gives the players a lot of possibilities to just expand uh, this whole experience to other worlds as well. So I'm really glad that you guys have added that. The other social aspect is if you don't want to join into organizations, you can uh, join a study group. Um, you can also go to the commons. Um, there's a lot of activity that happens at the, the student commons, as well as uh, in our, I think, Gibbs Hill, our town oh, yeah. area. There's a library and there's a bar there. So if you don't want to do any of these organizations, you can kind of go to these areas, whether you want to study or whether you want to go to a bar and just kind of hang out and meet people from there. 
Okay, and I definitely also love the fact that you guys have added a new party type so that all of our sims can get together and, you know, meet some new friends at Brightchester. Can you give us a little bit of a hint? You guys have shown off a little bit about the Secret Society in the gameplay reveal trailer. So I know that you probably are not allowed to give out too much spoilers, but is there maybe a hint or two that you can give to players how they can find the Secret Society? So if you go to the research machine, you can maybe try to poke around and, and see what you can find there um, to get a little bit hints of how to get into the secret society. So I've tried that yesterday, but it gave me an error 404. Hmm. <laughs> maybe keep trying. Um, sometimes during like spirit day events or if you see uh, interesting things happening to... Um, uh, the statues within the oh. things, there are some, some sprinkles there in terms of what you can do too. Okay, I'll definitely keep on trying to find that secret society. I really want to see what that looks like. <laughs> so, how will university affect our sims after they graduate? Are there any long-term effects on their career, their life in general? Yeah, definitely we wanted to make sure that if they had select a degree that it does affect their career as well. The idea if it, if you go through, uh, through university is you get a bump in your career. If you get a distinguished uh, degree, you get a bigger bump in your career. So definitely there's long-term effects of like finishing a degree. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that all of the previous careers are also being affected by the Sims for Discovery University. So once again, this is definitely a huge expansion pack and I love that it keeps on adding to all the previous experiences. So, um, can you tell us a little bit about the new skills that come with the Sims for Discovery University? I think that there are two that I've seen in the game, is that true? So the first skill is a robotics career, which is tied into the robotics and engineering career. Um, and then the debate skill um, is tied with the um, debate career. So what you can do there with debate is uh, you gain different ways to convince people to do things. So if you choose to do the debate route, um, you can convince maybe your professors to like, you know, bump your grade and like different things around campus um, with the teacher. Oh, so uh... there's some sneaky stuff there. Um, and then for robotics career, it's as you kind of gain your, your career, there's a table that you can work on uh, to build robots and kind of skill gain there. And you start out with these like really teeny tiny cute like robotics and kind of grow into building um, a lot of cool stuff um, from the table. Yeah, so I think we've already seen that in the trailer, yeah. that really cool stuff. You're probably uh, talking about the servo bot. So, what's so special about the servo bot? What is the servo bot able to do exactly? Yeah, um, the servo bot is just, I feel like it's progression as you like uh, build all these like cool new features that are um, like whether it's the robots or the util bots that kind of help you with cleaning and things like that. Servo is actually somebody you can you add to your household and kind of um, kind of just help you out and do different things. So do servos maybe have some special needs that Sims don't have? They do. They have different they have different needs. Okay, can't wait to check that out. And so, are servos maybe upgradable like other tech and appliances that we already have in The Sims 4? If we maybe have the handiness skill up there maybe to level 10, can we maybe upgrade servo? Or is it tied into the robotic skill as well? I think a lot of his uh, enhancements are kind of through interactions with him and try to like oh. beefing him up. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So, in the trailer, you have revealed that there are three new careers being added with the Sins for Discovery University. So, what are they and can you tell us a little bit more about them? Um, the first one is the engineering, which is, I think it branches to uh, mechanical engineering and robotics. Um, the second one is the debate that we talked about. Um, and the third one is... Uh, teacher and I think that one branches as well you can go to teacher or you can go to the administration route so um, that career is education career oh, okay so basically each new career has two different branch types right 
Okay, that's cool. I've also seen in the build mode catalog that each new career basically brings out a whole new set of items. Yeah, they do have career unlocks like we generally do. As yeah. you kind of progress, you kind of are able to get more um, and, and kind of have those reward objects as you kind of progress in your career. They have like different outfits that they can they, they, they unlock as they grow. So what happens after you win a debate? Are there any special benefits? Uh, when you win a debate, I think they get um, a moodlet. Yeah. So you win, and then I think you can also like brag once you kind of win. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, that's fun. So the world of Brychester is filled with everyday activities and fun stuff to do. So which types of events do you personally like in the game and why? Yeah. Um, I would say, as I mentioned before, the utility bot contest is really cool. Um, there's just like, uh, like you mentioned, there's a lot of cool gadgets and stuff when you're there. Um, the, the, the school spirit one is actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah, it's kind of just to like get excited and you'll see the mascot come out. Yeah. Sometimes there's a, a fight. Yeah, I've seen that the entire campus basically goes wild during that event. Yeah. So, so I, I definitely would say, like, those are kind of fun. Um, uh, I didn't go to, this is maybe American-centric, but I didn't go to, like, a big college with, like, a huge sports team. So, like, yeah. that felt really nice to me, for me. Like, it's nice. And, and we don't have, like, football or anything like that. It's the events that you can go as, like, soccer and esports. Yeah. But it's kind of still a nice feel of events. Uh, again, like, with soccer and esports, we try to look into um, events that kind of span across uh, different uh, yeah. areas and not be too American-centric with, like, football or something like that. Um, yeah, I've seen in the game that... Uh the cast assets, for example, they're filled with these new sport clothing that can basically be associated with the new soccer ball. Yeah. And so what can you do with that soccer ball? Can you play with other sims as well? Yeah, so soccer you can juggle. You can also juggle with people. Sometimes people that aren't high skill like do bad things to other people, but it's, you know, all accident. <laughs> um, uh, so that's kind of generally what you can do with soccer. Um, and you can also go to the events. You can actually join in a team too. Um, it's a, a after school activity, um, so if you click on the arena, there's an option to join uh, the soccer team if you want, as well as the esports team. Okay, cool. I've seen with Molly, the English swimmer, just a few minutes ago, she has shown me off that one of her sims has gotten an injury while playing soccer, and basically that moodlet lasted for like two days, and during that time, her arm was wrapped yeah, around. They, like wrapped their arm. <laughs> yeah, that's a really cool addition. So, what advice would you give to players who want to have their sims graduate university with some top-notch grades? Um, one, I would say do your homework, uh, turn in your final presentations, essays, or do your exam. Those things are very important for your final grade. Um, there's also other opportunities you can do to kind of help, whether it's, you know, skill gain if you're doing um, computer um, working on robotics kind of all helps. Um, I, I can't remember if I mentioned, but office hours, um, kind of checking in with your teacher to see how you're doing, um, kind of all these things. If you're in like the study group, um, those kind of kind of help too. Um, the one thing I think is really cool is we're trying to push players to kind of um, go out and socialize. You can do cram sessions at the commons or the library, kind of just study um, and make sure you get top grades. Yeah. yeah. So what I've noticed is uh, you have to be very careful when you enroll in the university because the amount of classes that you choose when enrolling, it can really affect your social life. So maybe what do you think is the best balance for uh, classes before enrolling in the university? Like how much uh, classes should players take if they want to have both the social life and, you, uh, you know, the university life included? Yeah. I would say depending on how much uh, social life you want to do, I would say maybe two or three. That yeah. way you can do the other stuff. I feel like if you really want to like go all in on social, maybe do a little bit um, less classes just to kind of balance that out. Yeah. Um, it really uh, is a balance of like how much you want to do the other stuff. Um, and it doesn't ding you. Just, you just have more terms if you take longer. 
Um, yeah. Because the idea is you finish uh, based on this uh, certain amount of credits. Um, so kind of balance out how you want to play. It's hard for me to say exactly what you guys, but ideally I feel like three is like a good number. Yeah. Um, but anywhere from two to three, probably balancing if you want to go whole hog into like uh, an organization or something like that. Yeah, I have to give a tip out there to everyone watching this, but uh, just a few moments ago, I enrolled my sim in university, and I chose all of the classes, and my sim doesn't have a social life at all, so please be very, very careful with that. So I really want to ask this, uh, how well does the Sims 4 Discover University integrate with other packs? What are some of the elements, for example, with Get Together that players are going to be able to involve with Discover University as well. Yeah, I mean specifically with Get Together, uh, Get Together was about creating your own organizations, or sorry, Get clubs. Together was about creating your your own clubs. And organizations is a little bit different, where we're trying to push people to join these clubs and do specific things to gain, uh, whether it's the. Um, what is it? whether it's like spirits or whatever it is, we're, we're trying to kind of uh, tie that into university a little bit more versus like creating your own clubs. Yeah. Um, I would say they're kind of two different things in terms of how the pack kind of ties in with the rest of the pack. Like say, for instance, scholarships. Um, we try to make sure scholarships um, you can get uh, from different skills in different packs. So that's their... Um, bikes you can bike in any world it's not tied to university world I know that's a question people are interested in um, so definitely different beats obviously for degrees is like all the degrees from um, every career that we've done to make sure that kind of ties back into all the careers that we've launched yeah and just one more question when it comes to integration with packs we can take our cats and dogs to university right or do they stay uh, back at home I think you can if you're living off campus, um, but when you're on campus, it's kind of strictly tied to your yeah. roommates. Yeah. Um, but if you live on off campus, I don't think we block that. Okay. Yeah. And I'm really glad that you've given players the ability to bring their babies and toddlers and children as well, so they can also experience a little bit of that university life. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of in the same vein as the dogs and cats. Like, if you yeah. live off campus, you can bring them to the library or whatever to study. Yeah, that's um, so cool. Yeah. So, any final thoughts about the Sims for Discovery University? Yeah, I uh, we hope you like it. Um, we definitely try to uh, give... Uh, players the opportunity to kind of balance what they want their school life to be whether it's two four classes or whatever they want to be or whatever they want their class their coursework to be and kind of be able to balance that story with how many classes they want to take and how much they want to put into their social um social life at college so um we hope you like it yeah, the Sims for Discovery University comes with a lot of options and comparing it to previous university packs, I'm very excited that there are so many options with classes and that there's an additional layer of challenge with uh, student loans and stuff like that. So that's going to be so much fun. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. The Sims for Discovery University expansion pack is coming out on November 15th on PC and Mac and on December 17th on Xbox One and PS4. Perfect for the holiday season. So this was Sim Guru Steph, the lead producer of the Sims for Discovery University and we hope you enjoyed this interview. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Bye.